introduction video to the turtle. So, uh, to the turtle. So, yes, you see Tom doing turtle, and, and I, I, in some point, I do a turtle. So, close on another one. So, uh, now the new thing is that uh, I, uh, I teach the turtle. I usually start in my seminars. Now we start with seal feet. Yeah? So, because the ankle picks are gone, uh, more gone, uh, hip is low, and uh, so elbows are ev all the same. Uh, everything are, is mostly the same, but I guess the new thing is, yeah, I find that it, uh, it makes people even more passive. So, come back on. So, so everything. And the head always is like, if, if I turn, you know, if I'm in his right side, he looks at me, and if I'm in left side, he looks at me. So, very important, that structure. And still, it has to be withstand and push and pull, and we're gonna cover all that. But, so, that is the turtle. So, in that sense, you see in the world also that turtle that their elbows are in, both elbows very in and protecting the neck. But that turtle's problem is that uh, it's kind of open for, uh, I guess, the grabbing, you know, cross wrist and grabbing even this near. The hooks are there. You also see that elbows on a mat. You see that, that is very common, that even on the not toes, that people are sit, but their you know, elbows are kind of touching the knee, maybe, or just the elbows are on a mat. And this is, uh, and this is uh, also the, the obvious reason why, why turtle has a bad reputation is mostly because of those those, those postures, see, uh, Russia, because uh, clearly, you know, everybody understands if you go to turtle that way, you have right away seat belts, you have darses, marses, barses, larses, anacondas, guillotines, uh, back takes, you know, crucifixes are here right away. So, but mostly we see that turtle in, in the world, and uh, in a way it's kind of sad. And uh, so, I don't know why people play it. Uh, similar things can be played, but only with one post on the mat, and there's some things, but not two posts. Because that's why, like I said, the turtle has a bad reputation, because it's super open, and nobody likes to stay here, you know? So, uh, what, we, what I re recommend, to so do the rec turtle, yeah, what I recommend is elbows like this. We're gonna, I guess, talk about in different videos why they're like that. And uh, you can say, treat, this is your opinion, I would say you're wrong, and this is not my opinion, this is a fact, yeah? So this is all tested. You can test this turtle against everything you know, and test elbows on a mat and all other turtles. And this withstand the most attacks, if not all, yeah? Because later you would need also upright turtle, uh, upright turtle, then <laughs> upright turtle, and you need also pandas and stuff, so there's postures of turtle. But today we're gonna to talk about just regular turtle. So this posture uh, is the one that I recommend you to play. And by testing it and the way we're gonna do some clips and stuff later, it, we will show that uh, you know there's no seat belts, there's no darses and anacondas, its hooks are gone. And what we what what I hope I prove to you that that only in a way that the space that matters is this wait is this space. So if I get here, uh, this is very dangerous. If I'm sloppy, I, I get also swept by this. But this is not dangerous, that space. So knees are wide, elbows out and everything. So, and uh, uh, thank you. So, so that's, the, that's the idea of the turtle. And uh, I guess, you know, it connects with everything else we do, with the ideas. And uh, my turtle god is uh, Eduardo Teles. Uh, he's weirdly, there's more guys doing it, I guess. People have sent me videos, you know, so there's more. But at the moment, everybody knows that, you know, turtle tells, yeah? So let's say, weirdly, there's only one guy, and usually one guy is, for statistics, very bad. Uh, and I have no clue why turtle are, is weeded out. I know that uh, there were some rules, IB Jeff, and uh, tell us, you know, he's a, I think, Nogi World Champion in 2017 or 18 or something. He's very accomplished uh, fighter. And he did better when the jiu-jitsu rules were different because the sweep, the turnover sweep, rollover sweep to the turtle actually was two points, but then they canceled those things. So IBJF is kind of uh, weeding out the turtle.
but my my idea would be that that even I think the IBGF turtle works should work very wonderful, and we should see more turtle actually because it helps to avoid three points. And I have no clue why it's not the case because people go to turtle and then it usually, you know, I'm not saying game over every time, but you know, clearly people don't practice turtle and it becomes like a. I would probably hurt some people's feeling, but sense, senseless scrambling, yeah? So, um, I don't know why I like Turtle. I have actually, if somebody asked Fried why did you develop Turtle, I had no clue. And, uh, it took us two and a half years to figure out. We used, uh, um, there was a Swedish guy, Eric Linden, and he was the closest that we had to Turtle, uh, to Turtle, to also tell us. And he couldn't say what he did. He couldn't say what was the essential or what was the most important thing, what he did. So it took us two and a half years, literally, it's not like over-exaggeration even, to try different postures. Then we didn't do anything in a month or something. We didn't have any ideas. Then some other new idea popped up. So, and then finally we came to that posture. We Previously we had more toes on the mat, but now we know it's even against recreational people. Uh, for recreational people and stuff, it's easier to seal feet. And, there's also benefits, but clearly as a the position, I start with seal feet and clearly there's place for uh, toes on the mat also, but that comes later in, uh, in those video series. Uh, so Eric Linden, and uh, I don't know why I was pissed off that turtle is missing, that I don't know what I did before that we discovered that, let's say, correct way of doing that. But, uh, and uh, I know my uh, people that coached me or gave me knowledge or that I, I guess, looked up to, or at the time, uh, they, everybody has said, like, turtle is a transitional position, don't stay in turtle, you get punched in the face in turtle, but now I know that, uh, in a way, they're all was, they were all lies, because people didn't know, because turtle is very well established in MMA, it works, it's just the way you train, and usually people's argument is, that, uh, oh, they don't stay in turtle, you get punched in the face. But same you can say about side control and also about mount, because you want to do a quickest escape possible. But how do you make a quickest escape if you don't stay there at all? So your thing is to stay the longest in a turtle, develop confidence, develop the attack recognition, and then, uh, then, 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 uh, then you have to escape the quick, then you have the knowledge to escape the quickest. So that's the main point I have. So definitely in a fight, you don't want to stay there for long, get up to a, you know, to a turnover roll, whatever. So I find people, people just forcefully are looking for excuses to not to play the turtle and using the wrong kind of weirdly arguments that they would lose the debate with that arguments in five seconds. So I find that's very weird. Uh, so there's definitely uh, evidence that it works. Uh, and in, in an escaping scenario, if you only have guard pull, you're missing out, you should do sit-ups, yeah, sit up away or towards opponent. You should turtle away and towards opponent and you should pull guard, you know, on your elbow or invert or whatever you want to do. So you have multiple directions. All those things have jab pro systems. And so three options you should have. So, and if uh, people don't turtle, I don't know, because the back takes and and the knowledge, I guess, the, the YouTube has, it's weird, and that's why I love that I have work to do. And then and, and, um, I'm happy to take on the challenge uh, because, you know, what else I'm gonna do? <laughs> uh, so, so I play myself, I play turtle, turtle more extensively than I should because I wanna make a point when I roll with people. So you can decide how you wanna use it so I couldn't care less. I, I, mo I definitely know I do it like more than I have to and that's why people say oh you're so passive whatever but then I want to inspire people that actually it works and go on then bully me or take the back and so so those things what else uh, so we talked about Telus talked about the posture Telus himself plays very open so it's kind of hard to read him so that's why I find uh, people have told me that this posture system helps to understand what he does and he's more open he has some of his tricks and uh, if you understand this then you can play also open more open if you want because i i play more open because it's more reactional more fun i lose more and then i get back 
So it's like boxing stuff, you know, first you're here and later, later you know, you play very open. So that's, that will happen. And uh, don't believe people that are telling you turtle is bad and don't turtle and don't expose your back and all those things. So it's time we, we stop this madness and uh, stop demonizing stuff. And um, I, I really hope I'm able to, I don't know, change your mind or, or add to your knowledge pool. Yeah. So you too would have a decent optimal knowledge of turtle. Uh, and you can build on that. So it's a necessary evil. You don't have to be that good as a teller, but you have to be good enough that you can survive and then decide. So, so on the, those next videos, we're gonna elaborate on different things and how the turtle is meant to work and how everything is, you know, positioned and how, you know, elbows and knees and stuff. So, so keep watching.